Um, I'm Miltos uh, Yerolemu, and uh, I'm here at LuxCon 2015. It was, it was fantastic. It was fantastic. It was uh, uh, such a, uh, it was a great experience because the most uh, inspiring thing about it is that you're a part of this thing. I mean, back in those days, all those days ago when, we, when no one knew whether it was going to work or not, uh, it was an exciting project. The first read-through where we all sat, I don't know how many people in that room were in Northern Ireland and we read the first three episodes and uh, it was so exciting. It was so exciting. There were so many people, they had to um, make the table layout like a spiral. And it was, uh, that was quite an experience. And of course, you know, those days, everything was a little bit unknown. We knew the books, of course, but no one knew whether they'd really get, get the, you know, to, to inspire that imagination because the show now is bigger than uh, just a TV show. The books are bigger than just a series of books that haven't been completed yet. It's a phenomenon, isn't it? It's kind of a cultural phenomenon. Yeah, it was a very exciting thing. And also a very exciting thing to play a, uh, uh, such a, 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 a great character. Because I'm a bit of a geek myself and I like them. I think I'd go to conventions if I wasn't invited to them. Uh, I mean, I'm always amazed that uh, playing such a small cameo part really captured people's imagination but of course I understand that the character in the books did that so I guess I guess I'm very humbled and uh, and flattered and honored that people liked my interpretation of it my my realization of it uh, I mean I worked my bloody butt off uh, I was you know determined to, to, to kind of pull it off. There was only three scenes and I had to kind of really make it make it count. So I worked my arse off. Uh, but uh, it's, yeah, it's very humbling to, to kind of capture people's imaginations. You know, you're just an actor and you're kind of just tr doing the best you can do. And, and sometimes it's bigger than you, you know. Uh, the character existed before. So... Uh, and uh, and of course he's very influential to Arya's story and of course Arya's story is 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 uh, such a brilliant story. That's why it's so exciting that she you know season five is going to go where it goes because there'll be there'll be a lot of familiar familiarity, but there's also going to be like some surprises. But but I didn't know anything about the series of books until I got the the. I got uh, the information about the casting. So once uh, I found out that there was a casting, I, st I kind of did a bit of research. And then, of course, when I got the job, I read the books. Well, I read the first three books. Well, you can imagine. I mean, I grew up watching Star Wars. I was a child when it came out. I think I was 10 years old, something like that. And... Uh, yeah, it was huge. I mean, I remember watching it and was blown away. And of course, it's been a, a big thing in my life ever since. Uh, it, again, it's another cultural phenomenon. It's a, one of those things that gets name-checked everywhere. It's, it's, uh, it's, it exists in its own right. It's ridiculous. So to, 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 to be at Pinewood Studios and to see these made these made these beautifully handmade uh, uh, sets you know no CGI no blue screen green screen, green screen you know thousands hundreds not thousands hundreds of actors uh, dressed as aliens uh, it was quite mind-boggling you're literally standing around going this is insane it's insane. And I think most people who are working on that, everyone, to a T, 
no matter who it was and what they were playing, were kind of standing around a little bit gobsmacked because it looked amazing. It looked amazing, you know. Uh, you know, it's been talked about a lot, but you know, JJ has gone back to something. I mean, it's about storytelling, isn't it? It's about an emotional connection with uh, with with the story and with these characters. That's what happened the first time round. Didn't happen so much in the re in the uh, the the, the uh, prequels, uh, prequel sequels. But I think he's going back to that, and of course, you know. He's keeping the CGI absolutely to a minimum, so it's going to feel real, you know? It's going to have a kind of... It's going to be tangible, and I think that makes a difference, you know? You're not having to imagine. You're literally... Li the, the thing about Game of Thrones is that you walked onto set, and you walk into the throne room, and it literally exists. The throne room was built. You don't have to imagine anything. You're, you're in that environment. And this is Milton Girolamo uh, answering questions for Geeks Life Luxembourg. Peace.